and welcome to your first go live market update of 2023 happy new year to you all delighted to see you here as always mike smith senior analyst on markets to lead you around how the markets are starting this year looking at what's come across the news wise of course we saw us markets close the year with a mildly weak session to finish the worst annual performance since 2008 european markets that were open yesterday, including the DAX and the CAC 40 posting gains, uh, but we're not seeing follow through in Asia to any large degree. US futures are mildly positive, but the pullback since open and Asian indices are cautious after weaker China data over the weekend. We've got the ASX giving up early gains and down around 1.3%, just seems to continue to sell ever since that staggered open and European futures are pointing slightly higher at this stage. The VIX is near neutral. So a very mixed session so far today. The FX market is no different, very choppy. In early trading, US dollar index is trading at seven month lows uh, where it closed on Friday. We're seeing the Japanese yen strong this morning and most of the currencies weak versus the USD. Gold has broken 18.25 and copper is also higher today though remains in a range. All is trading at monthly highs. Bitcoin remains below 17,000, is trading towards the low of the current range. We do have some key data out today. We've got manufacturing PMI data due out from Asia, Europe and the US. Australian figures are already out and down on what was expected, though still marginally in expansion, i.e. over that 50 level. We've got German Eurozone UK and US data out later. We've also got some German jobs and CPI data to throw into the mix as markets start the year with plenty to think about. A couple of charts that caught our eye in early trading. Now we're going to start with the Aussie yen daily and you can see there we've pulled down and we're trading towards the lows of the session around about 88.80. Uh, in the early part of the session we were up well over 89 but have dropped around 50 pips since open. If we look at an hourly chart, you can see what we're eyeing here is this potential opening gap down. We closed it originally and then dropped off again. If we breach this, then there's a potential downside move, possibly to test those lows of hit on the 23rd of December. Very difficult to find an ASX stock that's looking in any way, shape or form interesting this morning. One that did catch our eye was Degray Mining Limited. Ticket code DEG, you can see we did move up today from a close of 128, only just over that by a couple of cents. But you can see we have already tested 132, which is a key resistance level. If we look back at the beginning of December and towards the beginning of November, a breach of this could be interesting and possibly one to keep an eye on amongst the very few stocks that are positive today so far. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.